Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and this is probably one of my best videos I've ever dropped. So we're going to watch Taste and Chapix play a finals game in a set lobby, and they played this game perfect. Up until the very end, they sold a little bit, but they still get the win, so it doesn't really matter those small mistakes. But this game was perfect, and I think you'll learn a lot from it personally. I bought this game with my boy TS. Shout out to TS. Follow him on Twitter, at PeanutBrillianTS. But yeah, let's get right into this video, guys. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe for more. Share with your duo because this video is going to really help you learn a lot. So let's get right into it, boys. Alright, I'll let you X. Actually, I'll yeah, 4X. You yeah. can 4X, you can 4X. It's, the, it's them with Malibu, Gamer Stash. They're not going to speak each other off spawn. Okay. Two stacks of chugs. Um, something you'll notice watching Chapix and Tayson is that um, regardless of the lobby I've seen them in, Chapix always carries uh, a hammer. Really? Like, always carries a hammer. Yeah, always carries a Why, hammer. Why, bro? Uh, cannot tell you. I mean, if your aim's good. Okay, this... I think this is the game. Yeah, this is the game, I'm pretty sure. Why are these teams fighting right here? No idea. Probably fighting for grapplers. Yeah, I guess so. Let me, let me check the zone. Okay, it's like a sanctuary pool. Bro, isn't there less water zones? Like... Over here to the right? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like there is less of those zones. Alright, they're just gonna look at this for surge. Like, why wouldn't you? They just Actually, know um, Chapix could have picked up that green AUG, but he didn't. Like, Chapix yeah. chooses to carry a hammer. I guess it's better for endgame. I know that for sure. Yeah. But, like, if that's me, if I'm Chapix, I'm making sure I have an AUG. They're actually kind of aim, fighting this. If your aim is good enough. That would have been a good shot. They instantly disengage. Like, they just weren't sure how healthy that team was. So they're just trying to, like, probe for information. Yeah. But I they're remember... not going to fully commit like idiots. Uh, you really can farm. They're going to refarm. They got a car, too? Do they just get deeper with nah, the nah, car? No, 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 no. They don't even. No way they don't take it. I think it might be a visual bug. I don't remember the music uh, car. Okay, okay. Maybe it was a visual, I guess. Alright, well, yeah, he's just gonna sit in this bush. It makes sense. Wait for next zone pool. While Chapix is. You know, farming up. Wow. Good shots. It makes sense for Chapix to be farming up when Taysen has the purple log. Yeah. That's my opinion. And they pull a great zone. Nice. Alright, look at their base they built here is extremely weird. Drone free and look at what they built. Already? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna build one layer off from this. They're gonna send the same one by two. Okay. Let's see. Let's... Chapik's just farming right now. While oh, Taysen gets all the surge with his AUG. You definitely see a lot of teams do this, which is that they play for positions early and then have one refarm while the other, like, bases up. Yeah. Wait. It's weird, but, like, it kind of makes sense. Why? You know? Why does it make sense? Because, like, you don't need to waste mats, and you both get the same angle. So, yeah. like, if one of you sees something, you can easily, like, double spray, you know? Yeah, you, bo you, get, you both get the same angles. You're, you're right. Because if one builds another box, then they won't have the same angles. And there's no reason for them to waste mats if they like can't refarm. Like I kind of fuck with it. Like they both they both see everything, low key. Yeah. Also, actually, like they both have like obvious a... there, pretty obvious there. Like they were like ready, holding the edit, waiting for the next zone reveal, and now they're ahead of everyone. Yeah. But bro, people are sleeping on that base though because. Yeah, no, I fuck with it. I you really ever do. tell your teammate like you gotta look over this way because I can't see that. Like, but you don't have to tell your teammate that. With that like you little beast. Oh, Sam, or you both don't. Yeah. Well, like, I fuck with it if you control space and you can't get keyed, you know? Which they did. Oh how my great God. this rotate. <laughs> They're setting like, Look how fucking perfect that mid game was, though. Like, that was beautiful. Yeah. Well, they got a good zone pull. Cause they I really like the base. Even though they have like a good hill, they had a like a hill and they were able to like zone it out. And so, like, no one was able to get in front of them. So, next rotate was super free. Because they control a lot of space, you know? Bro, yeah, Keep and they're doing the space again, bro. Now they get ahead. Are they? Yes! I think. I'm drone free. Third person, third per Yeah, just drone free, third care. person. 
think they did. <laughs> I think it it is, bro. Oh, they did. <laughs> Yo. I mean, it's great for conserving mats. Like, it makes sense. Like, And they get the same angles. Like, look how good their mats are. Like, Yeah. Instead of, like... They would wait, waste to double the mats. They would have like 150 less brick right now. They were Bro, just, no like... one does this but them. I'm not gonna I know. Lie. Baby, there's a reason why I was telling you to watch this. Like, Jeez. I'm telling you, man. They're it's so good. And they haven't even burned that many heals. Yeah, they pull fourth because they're center third. Now they're gonna look how many teams they could hold on this, bro. They're, they're not gonna need surge for the rest of the game. Isn't free mock like. One of the craziest fighters, bro. Yeah, he's really good. That team needed surge. They're just able to get free kills on that because they're panicking. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dead. I mean, look at the whole kids. They're looking at kids fighting in zone, like, near them. Yeah. Now all these kids have to rotate. Oh, my God. Sparring. Actually, Hammer is really good for surge on this scenario. Yeah. I think Hammer is just, like, if you have good enough aim with it, I think it's fine. Yeah. Because there's like scenarios where you get more damage out of it. Okay, I'm a 2x here. I think, I think it also definitely helps that, uh, takes in his great aim. Yeah. Um, this is where I noticed that one thing where I was talking to you about how, like, I know Blood X teams always do this. On this zone, they have to go late, so they go five seconds early. I've noticed, like, all Blood Before, X coaches yeah, do this. Yeah, five seconds. It's like a, it's like a little rule to make sure like, they're not it's like, storm. Like, it's like, like, watch, like, three, five, five go. Like, every Blood X team I've seen does, like, this. Every yeah. single one of them. I tried to do that too without even seeing that beforehand because you never want to go like last minute. Yeah, you never want to be like the very last. You like want to be like a little ahead. Yeah, because they can't go early there. They just get shambles. So. But they rotate up so they have to work down. Because I feel like it's. I think it's always easier to work down elevation. Down than up, yeah. Like. Learned that the hard way the other day. You know, it's always it's so much easier. And now we're in. Yeah. And look at their mats and heals. Oh, they got a body. Because they rotated a little bit ahead of these teams. Alright. 1x from here. Oh, Taysen goes hammer now because they're going into endgame. And all gets so bad going into endgame. Okay, now they can double spray. They got a lot more flexibility. Yeah. I guess that's why you run hammer, though. Yeah, okay, another kill potential. Zone. But this has been like an overall like beautiful game. Like basically no mistakes. We're in the fucking half. You've no, got it's been perfect. Really good bats. <laughs> it's we killed. Oh, it's been God. perfect, bro. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, bro. It's hard to see like perfection in them. Like set lobby, in my opinion. Like not one mistake is crazy. All right, they elevate and he starts tarping. Now he's gonna. I like, now bro. A lot of teams do this. They do like a, a three metal box, like, and then look. This is something I've noticed consistently. They're so good at getting the timings of like this tarp to then like reap the grapplers, and then they're gonna be able to get a kill on team sale. Oh my god, this ain't. Yeah. Okay. So now they get that, they leave it a little early before they're like fully back of zone. They're gonna do the classic baby with height. Run under height, yeah. He sees height's fighting while he's running. Does he drop now or second moving? Nope. Oh. He's just gonna go front side. Height. Height. Yep. The way they hey. hold height though is really good. They hold height really, really well. They tarp away though, like as like they're going up. They like they build away. So they like yeah. keep like staying front. Yeah, they're not PGing them like idiots. They're forcing them to drop because they're in front. Yeah. Like, they're, they're spraying and they're staying at it, which is, like, really, really good. This guy's chopping. He's going to make sure he doesn't. It's 100 connects while I, doing that. I feel like most even top-tier teams would not have noticed that guy. Yep. Like, he would have just been able to chop them. And they're or, like, oh, my God, we're dead. Or a top team would have just um fought him instead of connecting while fighting him. Yeah. That was smart by Taysen. He, like, hit him 150 and then just, like, connected. All right. What's the mass looking like? Okay. Havoc still has 600. Double landing right here. That's interesting. I guess since there's not a lot under him, so wants yeah. to make sure he's safe. That's actually smart. 
They also got a refresh like on half, so they were really good mats. They can like yeah. double layer. Yeah. And they're staying up because they have a lot of mats rather than connecting. I love that play. I love that play so much. He signal layers and then just spams armored walls. I love that so much. Yeah. They like so I love many. this. Like now that they're single layering, they're just armored walling everywhere. I love that so much. Goes for his body because he has max chugs. Doesn't get doesn't really get anything off the body with Cell. Yeah, you never know. He gets ammo off it though. Ammo's he got 200 huge. ammo off. He got yeah. 400 ammo off that. Yeah. I just love the armored wall usage. Yeah, well, they're uh, just so like many, double like, tarping and then swapping to a single card using the armored walls. Yeah. Just realistically, they're not gonna use them later on, so. Just oh, yeah, use, them. use them while you can. Yeah, but the very clear understanding of like how they're playing Hayu, which is that they wanna stay up, they wanna stay double layered rather than dropping down to connect. So they wanna stay up high enough where it's really hard for teams to flank. Yeah, it's actually really smart. With, yeah. Which I fuck with like really hard. I think that's like a really that's why they're interesting way. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really interesting way to play height. And I think that's definitely like the way to play height if you have good maps, you know? Yeah. Check these old builds. Because if you keep dropping down to connect, you have a potential to like get like boxed or... Yeah, it's just... Or flanked. Yeah, it's also just like... Yeah, it's just you're lower, so it's easier to flank you. But if you're like higher up, it's like double layer, it's a lot harder to like flank or like awareness check. And it's connected by the same amount of shit. Uh, a single layer tarp that's like connected on uh, like it's like found aided. That's held up by two things, but like a double layer thing is held up by two. This was, I, I said that this game was basically perfect up until the very end. This was uh... a... <laughs> yeah, so they killed Seti and Cami because they had no mats. And now the guy healing off makes a miracle happen. Four builds Tayson, one build Chapix. Chapix is weak. You know, they definitely rush this. Ooh. They still, like, Chapix still wins the 1v2, but, like, they rush this. If Chapix doesn't bitch him off the loot, he doesn't win. Yeah, that's, that's a heads you up know. play. I mean, it's just understanding that, like, if he, like, fights for the loot and dies, it's fine. Because, like, if he just didn't fight for the loot and let that guy get 12 chugs off Tasty's body, it was over. <laughs> like... Yeah, that's good awareness. This guy does choke a little, the dirty guy. Oh, yeah, he just whiffed. But I don't think he wins, he, even if he... He was 185. Shot. He was not winning that. Yeah. Wow, but that still, was crazy. Yeah. It was a really, really well-played game, especially from mid-game. That, like, tower that they do is, like, really, really smart. Yeah, for sure. I actually learned. Well, I want to be a little that. careful about doing that at a cash cup because teams might see it, think you're a solo and just key. Yes. But like, <laughs> it, it works for like, this. On like a mountain or some shit where you can just like control and like make it so teams can't get close. It has so much potential, you know? Yeah, it's situational. I feel like it's really good to give your duo ang all angles for surge, but just you don't want to do that in like in opens. I think that this is a set lobby thing that you can do. It was actually a really good VOD though.